up? Yeah. Yo! Neck Geek's bus, come on in. What's up guys? This is uh, Neck Deep's bus. We're here on the, the Warp Tour 2017. It's mine and your boy Sam's birthday today, so it's a very special day. It's gonna be a pleasure to show you around our kind of messy, kind it's of smelly of bus right yeah. now. Yeah. Fortunately, you won't be able to smell it on the other end of that, but... <laughs> That's the uh, advantage. We have a scooter here. This is the means of transport. Yeah, a scooter and a skateboard for entertainment and for transport. You know, it's very vital. Walk tour, you kind of, you're all over the place. You need to get from one place to the other. You're going to need some kind of wheels. Um, yeah. You haven't seen the real wheels. The yet, real wheels are in the back in the trailer. Yeah, we'll, 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 I'm sure we'll get to we'll that. Get, okay, this table is mainly used not for sitting at or um, working at. It's used with these dice generally. <laughs> Um, there's a few people in here that like to roll money. Yeah. There's 12 people on the bus, and I think there's 12 people that roll money. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So, gets used for that. But generally, it, do, it does get used like uh, it, this is our little, our, our photographer's little hub. He sits down and edits yeah, all his all photos stuff. here. He's got so, a drone. all of this. This is actually a drone. It's it, just like, crazy. Falls all out that, and, yeah. So all of these little devices are all his. He's kind of commented mm -hmm. this area. Obviously, what? we have the entertainment right here. Um, so we, we got the Bose big speakers, the yeah. surround sound. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's not really. It's just, yeah. it's just that. There, yeah. We we have a PS4 and we have like Netflix and stuff. So we tend to either watch. It's either watching a movie of some sort or watching a TV we show. We watch the in between us in the office. Yeah, yeah in between us so. office entourage. You guys entourage, are on too. Yeah. Uh, but then a few of us play games as well. West is usually playing some kind of crazy anime. I think he's literally game. back. There, I think he's literally in we'll, the back we'll, right now. We'll walk into him in a minute, and yeah. I'm sure he'll be playing something. Yeah. Um, this is where a lot of the action happens, I'm not going to lie. This is like the main the thoroughfare of the bus. So. Yeah, it's somehow turned into a bar. There's, uh, me and Elliot especially have a, um, a drinking problem with Disserano. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. That and champagne. Um, yeah, so a lot of champagne, a lot of gin. The, these are the empties. I think there might be a couple more under here, but we've just ran out of room. Yeah. And uh, we're on our last bottle here. And then we have these little... Tiny ones in case you're traveling and you need to, you need a little pocket size. You know, you're leaving camp for a couple of hours. You, yeah. you know, you never know. Yeah, so yeah. it's good to keep a couple of the small rigs just in case. You never know. Um, you also have like kettle, coffee, tea. We're all big coffee fiends. This is where all the coffee and oh, all the snacks. It is, it is all, all back here. There's loads. We do have of some coffee. good ass coffee in We've there. Like Stump Town. Um, Stump Town. Um, Dark Star Matter, Star which Matter. is uh, the hope of the day coffee. Um, We've got yeah. this we got this drip. We have many methods. We have, uh, so this is the pour over. We also have the um, Aeropress. Aeropress, somewhere. yeah. It's back here. Yeah, that's something. I think that's actually got broke. Nutribullet. We have a couple of health guys on the on the, on the wag. He likes, to, he likes to eat well and look after himself and exercise. Oh, oh yeah, there's a ton of food up in here. So um, this, is, this is mainly your cereals and your kind of your, your boxed. Plenty things. of cliff bars. They will that's vital, yeah. start the day off or finish the day. Usually both. Yeah, and yo, actual, actual legendary discovery by our um, our photographer Elliot dis discovered if you put a Cliff Bar in the microwave, game changer. Cliff and a bit of a, a bit of Ben and Jerry's on the top of that. Yeah, some ice cream there. Game changer. That is like, yeah, that's that's the sweetest. Uh, Cereal sweetest of choice: there. cinnamon toast crunch. I'm a I'm a I'm a frosted mini wheats guy, but I ran out of all Fair. my uh, all my cereal. That's um, pretty much. This is pretty much a cereal. I on day beats. on day one, I bought a box of this to stay healthy and um, to like you know, but it's still unopened. <laughs> I didn't quite make it this tall. <laughs> Obviously, being being from the UK, we're very unfamiliar with firearms, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it was in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. A couple of the guys went to a shooting range for the first time and got to fire off a couple of guns, and uh, yeah, apparently it was terrifying. And so we kept this. I don't know who added the haters beware, but yeah. Maybe West. <laughs> haters beware because we will miss yeah. all of them by hilarious stuff. Because no one hit the target. <laughs> yeah, at all, yeah. This is the bathroom. And this thing, this, crazy. yeah, this is where the smell is real probably. Actually, it's not too bad in here right now, but it's pretty basic. It's just a toilet. We don't have a shower in here, which is the Ooh. sucky thing about having Tell you what we do have in the, in the fridge, which is very important, the condiments. We also have a giant pizza. Sriracha. Right? Oh yeah. We have a couple in here because it's a tragedy if you ever run out of this sauce. Yeah. Um, we've got sriracha mayo as some well. Vegan sriracha mayo. Got pretty, some sushi. Got some fruit. Uh, Lots of juice. 
some milk. Vegan sausages. Yeah. Shout out to Tofurky for supplying the vegans. Um, that's, that's pretty much all we got in there. And the freezer though, this is where the real food is. Is Shout out to the realist though, your girl Amy. Shout out to Amy. Amy's burritos and Shout out bowls. to Morning Star as well with the good veggie oh. stuff coming through. But yeah, we pretty much, you pretty much have to live, if you're gonna eat on the bus, you pretty much have to live off yes. anything that will go in the microwave. This, this non-dairy ice cream. We have, be gone tonight. in the band we have, Two vegetarians, a vegan, Sam's vegan. Three, three vegans, me, Ben, and Elliot. Yeah, in the crew, in the band, oh, we have, okay, so yeah, yeah, in our crew we have three vegans, uh, including the crew we have three vegans, but basically we have a bunch of people who don't eat meat, so most of this is, you know, uh, meat-free, vegan, um, and then probably like a few bits of like gribbly meat knocking around in there as well. <laughs> yeah, but, that's a bit, yeah. yeah, a lot of veggie stuff. Anything then, you can put in the microwave. And then frozen time. fruit for the nutri bullet. And... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about better. it for the freezer. The freezer's, the freezer's where it's at there. It sees the most action for sure. Bunk yeah, Bunk Alley. Alley. Okay. Watch the shoe go. rack, it smells. Shoe rack. There's socks hanging out, they're filled, they smell. Yeah, this is probably where the smell, for those of you at home, the smell will, it probably will start seeping through your speakers. Like this. This, um, is, this is Powell's uh, drum text bunk. It's clean. Nice and clean, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even think he has a pillow. There's a, there's a, there's a certain way of like, I feel like when it comes to bunks, there is like preferential choice. These middle guys are for sure the preferential choice for everyone, I would say, because you know you get the you, you can get just, the level. You can just you, roll in. Yeah, you can roll in and you get a level to like sort of your stuff out. I'm right in the bottom at the back, so I'm like constantly crawling into my little hole like a mole. Um, but yeah, other than that, they're pretty standard. They're actually pretty spacious. They're actually a lot more comfortable than you would think as well. Trying to sleep on a moving vehicle is actually I kind of like it. Like, kind of like rocks you to sleep. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same. Yeah, I'm about it, but yeah, nothing too interesting going on here. We have Dan, our sound guy right here, taking a taking a little break. He's done Hello. for the day, so he's, <laughs> kick, he's kicking back. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right, here we go then, yeah. Say it, say just, it as, just as we called it, West is back here playing some fucking crazy anime video game. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Tell them a little bit about this uh, fucking game. It's called Persona 5. Uh, I don't really know how to explain it very well. Uh, from what I've gathered from it, it's a very real world that's based on like actual, you know, Japanese culture. You go to school, you can go to, you can go to like the store, you have a job, but then on the side you go through this magical portal, and like in so many animes, you're fighting magical demons with a bunch of crazy powers, and you live this crazy second life. Pr pretty much. Is that right? Did I yeah, Did I get that? Off, yeah. See? Yeah. There you go. All right, cool. See? It's the so, gist of it. It just looks yeah. insane. It's great. It's a good time, but yeah, this is the back lounge. So in the back lounge, so we, we have another PS4 back here. Generally, you know, uh, the front lounge can get pretty crowded, and that's where people like tend to hang more often than not. But if you're trying to like break away and just like play a video game to yourself, or you know, you're trying to do a slightly different activity to anyone else, like if you want to watch a movie back here, but it's too noisy up front, back lounge is generally where you come to kick it. Or um, past midnight, it's the FIFA lounge, and you and Powell's are usually in here playing Pretty much. FIFA. Um, Teams? Teams Man United, United always, up. yeah. Most, most, of, most of us are Man United fans. We're like based pretty close to Manchester, so I, where we're from, you either support Manchester, uh, like United or Liverpool, um, or like Manchester City, or you don't support uh, Manchester. Yeah, support. no City fans <laughs> no, in here. No City or Liverpool fans in here. Um, but yeah, we, me and Powell's like we play on the same team, and we just play against like uh, we just play against the computer, and we just play like a season together, and just like build a dream team. Because we're lame like that, basically. We like to we like to try and relive our footy fantasy that never really actually <laughs> happened. So that's what we do. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're up like super late playing playing FIFA usually. But I don't know who's better. I would say maybe. I don't know, me and Pals are both pretty similar. I'd say maybe Pals might just edge it though. I've um, seen it go both ways too fast. Yeah. Um, another game we're pretty competitive with is Rocket League. Oh yeah. That, <laughs> that, that's that been pretty heated much. before. Yeah, way too, we've played that way too much. Uh, to a point where we started betting on it. And people like who were spectating like started side, betting on Like side bets with different people yeah. like who was going to win. Wild. I kind of got out of hand. So that about wraps it up for our virtual tour bus. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for coming and uh, sneaking around our bus. And sorry, it's not very interesting, but it's been good having you either way. Yeah, make sure you uh, pick up our new album, The Peace and the Panic, on August 18th and come to a show nearby. We'll see you there.